Hi, this is Michael Pariente of the Pariente Law Firm PC here at the Howard Hughes Center in my conference room. I'm a criminal defense lawyer here in Las Vegas. I've been practicing law for the past 17 years. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Kentucky court clerk, Ms. Kim Davis, who was charged with contempt of court. What happened in her situation was she refused to issue same-sex marriage licenses to same-sex couples. A federal judge ordered her to do so, and when she didn't, she was found in contempt of court. That means she defied the judge's order and was found in contempt of court, and the judge sentenced her to jail time until she agreed to comply. Now, the question that people are asking me is, do you have to be part of the court personnel in order to be found in contempt of court? In other words, if you, let's say, are just a regular citizen and you don't work in the courthouse or work in the judiciary branch, can you be charged with contempt of court? And the answer is absolutely yes. Here's a typical situation that I see where people are found in contempt of court. What typically happens is you have a husband and wife, the husband is charged with domestic violence, the wife says, I'm not going to testify, refuses a subpoena to go and testify against her husband. If that happens, the judge will order that woman in contempt of court and will have her jailed until she agrees to comply with the subpoena and testify against her husband. Now, if you're in a situation where you've been threatened with contempt of court or you've been found in contempt of court, you have rights. Give me a call, come sit down with me in person, or if you're calling from out of state, give me a call over the phone and I can tell you what I can do to help you.